My name is Ryan Burke, and I just love guitars. That's why I'm traveling the whole world to try as many as I can. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum Road Case. This episode is brought to you by Tour Gear Designs and their amazingly small and flat patch cables. Big ear pedals with their mysterious multi-effect, Albi. Gun Street Wiring Shop. Unlock your guitar's hidden tones with an expertly crafted custom wiring harness. And... Tysco pedals. I use them. I love them. Maybe you will too. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and I'm going to close out my session here at Pitbull Audio on my world tour of local guitar shops <laughs> with three guitars that are very outside my wheelhouse. On my left, I have a $3,099 Skeversine eight string guitar. On my lap, I have a $1,800 Ibanez, seven string. So I said the other one was eight, the other one is seven. These are all seven strings. A prestige Ibanez is what it was. And then here, I've got a mayonnaise, a mayonnaise guitar. This one is 3251, $3,251. I didn't know that extra string would be so expensive. You get a six string and they're a couple hundred bucks. You get a seven string, they're a couple grand. I have no idea how to play these. <laughs> Let's see how they sound. All right, I think I've got it in tune. Seven strings are a little bit interesting for me because I'm used to playing a baritone, which has a low B on it, followed by an E, an A, and so far, and uh, so on. This is just a slightly different format of a similar range, but it always feels totally different to me. Probably because it wants to be, you know, high gain and stuff. Here's the Rev G2. Is it clear that I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm 
let's switch it to the Marshall setting on the Iridium. Yeah, there we go. Let's check out one of the other seven strings here. Will I even be able to tell the difference? This one's got a Floyd on it. Wish I had the wiggle stick for it. All right, I tuned by ear. I think that's as close as I'm gonna get. Let's hit this one with some fuzz. something. Again, I ask you, was that anything? <laughs> was that something? I could feel a definite quality difference between this $1,800 guitar and the 3000. Was this the one I was playing? No, I was playing the Mayonnaise, the Mayonnaise. This 32. Hundred dollar guitar, three thousand two hundred fifty one dollars. There was something about this that felt much higher quality, felt like a more enjoyable experience. I mean, the Ibanez was fun, but sometimes you really can feel that price difference. Now this is interesting. This is the Skurver scenes, Skur. Vesson. Skurvesson? Skurvesson? I don't know. I've never heard of it before.
I've been tuning everything to B. I think maybe this is supposed to be dropped into A for a drop tuning. Here I go again. Tune in. Sounds decent. to do with this in a drop tuning. It's pretty floppy. This one has a built-in little felt mute thing here behind the nut. I've never seen that before. I really like the sound of the pickups. Clean on this thing. surfy. Yeah, I like those pickups. They have a lot of high-end personality. It's hard to get a full high gain signal out of it because all of the uh, all the signal of the string is super low. There's I don't how do I express that?
thinking I'm having fun with it. Am I having enough fun to ever spend $3,000? No. But if I had to choose between these three guitars, I think this one kind of won me over. I probably wouldn't do the drop A tuning on it. I'd probably tune that up to B for more of a baritone effect. But there's something about the quality of the pickups that did it for me. I like this one. The scurvy sing. I don't know how it's said, but I like this guitar over the other two. Between the Ibanez and the Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. I don't know. This one's a little bit heavier, too. Yeah, I like that other one. All right, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for humoring me in this uh, exploration of guitars that are far outside of my niche, that's for sure. And uh, thanks for tuning in for all this, uh, you know, out of the house content I've been doing here at Pitbull Audio. Send a big thanks to them by clicking their links down below. Check out what they have in inventory. Next time you want to order something online, maybe buy it from Pitbull. I mean, friend of the show, Sean Hutchinson, is in the repair shop, and he will touch your guitar before it's shipped to you. He will set it up for you. And uh, you know what? Click all the links for the sponsors. Make it worth their while, too, and worth the money that they uh, paid. Hopefully, hopefully I got sponsors to uh, fund this excursion of mine. And uh, stay grounded. Bye, everybody.